What you're watching right now is a simulation of the Ingenuity helicopter. A small robotic helicopter operating on Mars as a part of NASA's Mars 2020 mission along with the Perseverance rover. The helicopter was intended to perform a 30-day technology demonstration, making five flights at altitudes ranging from 3 meters to 5 meters for up to 90 seconds each. Ingenuity was designed by NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory in collaboration with AeroVironment, NASA's Ames Research Center and Langley Research Center. The main challenge was the extreme conditions of Mars. Mars' lower gravity, which is approximately one-third that of Earth, only partially compensates for the thinness of Mars' atmosphere, making it far more difficult for an aircraft to create significant lift. The planet's atmospheric density is approximately one-hundred that of Earth at sea level. So now, let us see how the simulation was developed. So here for the simulation, I have used Simulink, which is performing co-simulation with Gazebo. Gazebo is an open source 3D robotic simulator. It integrates the ODE physics engine, OpenGL rendering and support code for sensor simulation and actuator control. I followed the tutorial given on the MathWorks website. Then I acquired the 3D model of the Mars Ingenuity helicopter in GLB format from the GPL website. Then I used AC3D to convert into a STL file and the leg, the body, camera, rotors and the collective of the Ingenuity model were exported separately. Each model formed a link and we specified joints between them in a world description file supported by Gazebo. So this is the simulink design of the Ingenuity helicopter. As we can see, it has a system, sensors, control system blocks, visualizer and camera feed view which receives data from the Ingenuity model via ROS2 topic. Let us see the inside of the plant. It has a 6 degree of freedom block which takes in forces and moments as an input and gives out corresponding states by solving the general equation of motion in 3D space. It also has a mass atmospheric model to simulate its atmosphere and is the parameter for our aerodynamic forces. The data was taken directly from NASA's website. Talking about aerodynamic forces, we have a wind model here which is used to simulate drag forces. I have considered mass gravity to be 3.721 meters per second square which is being transformed to the body frame in the green block. All of these forces are added and the moments are calculated and fed into the 6th degree of freedom block. It also has a battery and engine part which has been taken from Simscape electrical example and has been modified according to the requirements. It has a 6 lithium ion battery model capable of telling its state of charge and temperature. It also has a solar panel that charges the battery. Mars temperature can go very low and sometimes requires a heater to heat the components to protect it. That's why it also has an internal heater. In the rotor engine, it uses motor model connected to two contra-rotating coaxial rotors via gearbox. The rotor model has been modified to give the value of thrust, which becomes an input to the 6 degree of freedom mode. Now we come to the altitude controller which takes rotor angular velocity, altitude reading and a reference altitude as input and gives out reference torque as output which goes as an input to the engine to control the altitude of the Ingenuity helicopter. The altitude reading is from the altimeter where I have added noises to simulate real world sensors. Next comes the system level controls that represent the brain block of the engine and battery. It takes in the input from the battery like temperature and state of charge and external factors like altitude and pre-flight conditions to determine whether the heater should start to heat the batteries and components and if the present condition is ideal for flying or not. Next is the moving in XY plane which I am currently working on. Uh, so here we are trying to maintain an altitude while controlling the angle. Uh, by this way we can ensure the helicopter can move in a plane. So if we see it's kind of a thrust vectoring control, we have a thrust in a 3D plane and it is kind of making an angle delta with the Z axis and its projection on the XY plane makes an angle epsilon with the X axis. The model will move according to the direction of thrust. So here the delta and epsilon are the control variables through which we can alter the thrust direction and hence we can move in the XY plane. So right now I'm working on the trajectory generation and autonomous vapor navigation of the Ingenuity helicopter and later at later stages I wish to do proper modeling of the collective control mechanism 
left and drag analysis of uh, the rotor blades using computational fluid dynamics and then implementation of Kalman filter and then visual inertial navigation using the onboard camera and the modeled IMU sensor. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching.